Hello and welcome to a brand new Play 2 Plays. My name is Paul James. Today we're playing Infinity Strash Dragon Quest The Adventures of Dai, which is a video game adaptation of an anime that's based on a video game. It feels like the Ratchet and Clank movie video game um, at this point. Um, we're going to jump into it. I actually don't know a huge amount about it, despite being a big Dragon Quest fan. This is something that's kind of remained slightly off my radar, and I think that's largely because it's an anime Long adaptation. Ago, Again, of a video game, but... An anime ab adaptation, which just means that like, I'm not a big anime consumer at all. So, I'm going to jump into it. Thank you very much to Bandai Namco Australia on behalf of Square Enix uh, for providing me a copy of this code for the purposes of this Player 2 Plays and a review which you'll find soon enough on player2.net.au. The reviews have come in quite hot, um, only about a day before the game's launch. So, I'm not going to be turning around the full game and then a review in that time. But I want to make sure I give you some gameplay to have a bit of a look at today. So, here we go. Let's get into it. And decided someone should oversee their creation. The gods of dragons, darklings, and humans convened and came to an agreement. To create a being with the strength of dragons, the magic power of darklings, and the heart of humans. An ultimate warrior. The Dragon Knight. If any force should ever hold ambitions to dominate the world, it is the Dragon Knight's duty to wipe them out and administer divine punishment. And I am the one true Dragon Knight. The one meant for this age. But while only one Dragon Knight is supposed to be born, there was an exception. And the other Dragon Knight is you, I want your power, Dai. Now, come and serve me. It's time. Time for you to embrace your duties and destroy what's left of humanity with me. Serve you? Destroy humanity? You're joking! I make no such joke. It's what the legendary Dragon Knights were born to do, after all. Never! I'm on the side of humanity, no matter what you say! It was the Dark Army that took my Master Ravon's life. I'd rather die. This is a bit of context here I'm certainly lacking, but... Um, here we go. So we're now into some gameplay. See, very well. Oh. And I suppose I shall call you by your human name. So die. I shall defeat you as a oh. hero who fights for the human. If you will not submit yourself to me, this will be your end. Now they teach about the dodging. And guard. A little bit. How naive. Too obvious. Feel like it's slightly lacking in its responsiveness. Lies within me. Please awaken if I don't defeat him. He'll wipe out all of humanity! Waking the power of dragons. Dragon Knight Baran is a powerful foe. You'll have to unleash it. the inner power of dragons. Have a fighting chance. Once the gauge is full, press L2 to awaken your powers and become stronger. Oh, but I was about to break him. Okay. I'm impressed. You can control the power of dragons so well. For that spirit and courage, I shall show you just how terrifying it is when a true Dragon Knight controls the heavens. Don't you understand, child? I am far stronger than you could ever hope to be. I still have my, oh, my final weapon. That's right. 
What Matterich said, a hero's weapon. The only weapon I have left that might work on you is what lets me face any powerful enemy. Oh. And that is my courage! Oh, we're getting real anime wanky here. Coup de crap. There is so much that I don't understand here. Grandpa Brass, why does he look like this? No, I'm like... Alright. Dai's lost his memories, disabling his skills, and adventure through Dai's memories is about to begin to help him regain his memories. Blah, blah, blah. So you all pick in. Okay. The boy who would be a hero. So we are now like Island walking through his life to this Dai, point. A boy like who it. dreamt of becoming a hero and trained to become a mage under his adoptive parent, Brass. One day, a party of fake heroes came to the island with their eyes set on Gomachan, said to be the only golden metal slime in the entire world. The group deceived Dai, who had mistaken the imposters for the heroes he idolized and abducted Gomachan. However, as the fake heroes attempted to present Gomachan to King Romos on a ship offshore, Dai successfully rescued his friend. Moved by the boy's gallantry as he fought for his friend, King Romos praised Dai and awarded him the crown of champions. A little later, Princess Leona of Papnica Kingdom came to the island to perform a ritual with the Bishop Temjin and the Sage Varen. Leona's tendency to bluntly speak her mind annoyed Dai at first, but as they worked together, the pair slowly began to bond. So yeah, it certainly feels like we're straight up recapping However, the anime now, shockingly, which it turned out that I don't Temjin have context for. I'm going to quickly Google while we're, while we're recording here. Plotting to um, betray and kill Leona. To whether there's even an English Once version yet, or whether you have to watch it. They dubbed, uh, subbed or sorry, subbed. He and Leona were confronted by an even greater threat. The killing machine. Dai's explosive anger and desperation to save the princess. So it's on Crunchyroll. I don't know if it's in English. Which for me, I know the whole subs and dubs debate, but 
Um, I am absolutely a, the ritual, a dub person. The promise with Dai to meet again in the future before departing the island. Although Dai had overcome a great many ordeals, the hard won peace was not to last, for graver troubles yet lied in wait. I think there might be an English dub already. All right, here is shoot. Oh, we're getting another another story beat here. It was a day like any other, as Dai frolicked with the island's monsters. Oh yeah, okay. When it's suddenly, well and truly out. The creatures began to rampage. Dai hurried to Brass, only to find him in a stupor and on the verge of going berserk. After Dai's cries brought him back to his senses, Brass declared that the Dark Lord had returned. Worse still, he grimly predicted that the monsters would turn on Dai. He urged the boy to leave the island. But Dai insisted that a true hero would never abandon Looks his like we've got about 100 episodes of the show. Well put, young man. I couldn't have said it better myself. You must be Dai. First, let me sort out your friends. I hereby banish you, dark forces. Glimmer! Felt oh, more investigation to that later. I almost forgot. <laughs> How rude of me. I am Avon de Zinuar the third. I tutor young warriors, coaching them to be tomorrow's heroes. So you're a hero trainer? Yes. I teach all the agents of peace and justice. Heroes, sages, mages, no matter what your raw materials are, I can turn them all into world-class warriors. I am Avon de Zinuar the third, but just call me Avon. And this is Pop, one of my brightest students. If he applies himself, one day he'll make a very powerful mage. Avon informed Dai and Brass that the Dark Lord had risen once more. Not only that, the Papnica royal family had given Avon the task of training Dai to become a true hero as quickly as possible. Dai agreed to undertake Avon's special hard course, designed to make him a hero in one week, and began the grueling training. For the first day, Dai trained earnestly, practicing everything from unarmed combat and magic <coughs> to even slicing and nice that you can pause the cutscene like that. And you've also got the little prog progress His progression made bar. His movements less wasteful, enabling him to cleave the very rock he had struggled to damage that morning. On the second day, to learn Avon's signature attack, Avon Strash, Dai mastered the basic Avon-style sword technique, Earth Slash. Then, on the third day of training... What sort of training is this, Master? Very simple. You're going to fight me. But this time, I'll be using a special spell. You can use your blade, but I won't be injured by it. It's guaranteed to make my skin harder than any kind of steel. Now, you might want to stand back. Here we go! Pop! <gasps> A dragon? That really is some spell! Dragons are the most powerful in all of the Monster Kingdom. Only a true hero could face such a creature and survive, let alone defeat it. It's time to prove yourself, Dai. So I'm about to fight a dragon in Dragon Quest. I love it. Nice and early. Yep, cool. There's a, there's a combat scene here. 
Before setting out a quest, you can change your character's coup de grace, skills and spells, and bond memories. Free quests also allow you to decide which characters will accompany you as well as what outfits they wear. Well, I don't really have any other character options. My outfit is my outfit. Bond memories? But I don't have any bond memories available yet, so like this is all here, this is all fantastic, but I can't actually can't actually do anything yet. So let's begin the quest. Today's lesson will be quite the tough one. That art style that we see in Dragon Quest, that we see in Chrono Trigger, that we see in Dragon Ball, it's just Woo! A dragon? Dragons are the most powerful in all of the monster kingdom. Only a true hero can face such a creature and survive. Let alone defeat it. Let's begin with the warm up. But I don't need to. I must say, I'm quite embarrassed with myself. Huh? Who's this green guy? Earthquake? No, something worse. It's the magic circle. Someone must be trying to breach it. And whoever it is, they're incredibly powerful. But an ordinary monster wouldn't be able to set foot inside it. Could it be? Is that magic circle your idea of a practical joke? So, you really returned, Dark Lord Hadlar. <laughs> Been a while, hero Avon. Avon, long ago, you thwarted all of my ambitions. You even cost me my very existence. That's why I knew your name. It was you. You're the legendary warrior. You defeated the Dark Lord and brought peace to every kingdom in the land. I can't believe he's really the one who defeated the Dark Lord. I understand you've gone into teaching. Oh, 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 oh. I just re- I must say, I <laughs> just re it. it with myself. Hang on, fast forward. You know, you, I'm a commander. You really want You know, care. I'm glad you decided to come here yourself. Now I can defeat you again and clear the darkness shrouding this world. But while this this scene is playing out, we'll, we'll play it through to its completion. This is where we'll wrap things up for this entry of Player 2 Plays. That is a little look at Infinity Strash, Dragon Quest, the adventure of Dai. And it's, look, it's a cool start. It's like they're, they're really blending in a lot of the anime into it. So make sure that everyone gets that full story context. And I guess that's important. Um, it was a little confusing at first, with the kind of, but then he's kind of got the amnesia and go back in time and rewind it. Thanks for the sense now. Um, the gameplay feels sold. Uh, certainly, like I felt like it was not responsive during that first fight, but in that second one there, um, with Ivan 
actually worked a lot better. So I think it might have been uh, me just kind of learning the ropes and the timing and what's when and when I shouldn't be executing an attack. It feels pretty good. And so, we'll wrap things up there for this entry of Player 2 Players. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Visit the website player2.net.au in time where you'll find my review of Infinity Strash Dragon Quest The Adventure of Die. Uh, and links to a whole bunch more, including my Dev Diary really podcast as well. We're on Patreon, patreon.com slash player 2 You can give me bucks, lower tiers, early access, high tiers, lock episodes, exclusives. And finally, the Twitter. You find me at Paul James Games, the website you find at player 2 Now What's let's bring this one home. It's not like I resurrected myself, but now I serve the ruler who did. He was generous enough to bestow upon me more power than you can imagine. Tell me, who is it? The Dark King, Vern. He is a mighty god of the underworld. After you defeated me, I was brought before his throne, and he gave me a glorious new purpose. Now I am the Dark Lord no more, but the Dark Commander, he who leads Dark King Vern's forces. You can fight, but I guarantee it's hopeless. My new master is an omnipotent god of dark. Humanity's destiny is extinction. <laughs> it's been 15 years, but I'm sure you will remember my offer, Avon. So here's your second chance. All you have to do is join me, and if you do, I'll even let you rule half the world. I refuse. You have no clue what mercy is. Besides, if I did agree, I know you'd still turn on me eventually. Either way, I doubt you have the authority to offer me anything. You're not the Dark Lord anymore, you're just a servant. I'm a commander! How dare you, servant! You regret calling me that, you little punk! Instead of sparing you, I'll make your students watch as I turn you to ash! Eat this! Kaboom! when you were going to do that. Yvonne Strash took my life the last time. However... Oh my god, he's cell! It appears my Piccolo. resurrected form has the edge. <coughs> Master of Oz, Enough! Do you want to join your teacher, little one? If you want to live, get out of my sight. Really? Blood? But that's impossible. That little brat's blade shouldn't have even left a scratch. I've changed my mind. It seems as though Avon's students are too powerful to be left alive after all. I'll make it quick. As expected. Master Avon! Level up. Well put, young man. Couldn't have said it better myself. You must be die. All right. And like I said, we'll wrap things up there. Thank you very much to Bandai Namco Australia on behalf of Square Enix. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.